Do you know how long I've been sitting out here waiting to talk to you? This is a county facility. You are funded by the tribe. You have a friend of somebody calling the county commissioner. Now, I have some questions I'd like to ask you that are in your mind about your son. Okay, sure. Have you ever known him to be dangerous? No, no, never. He's the sweetest boy on the planet and he's sensitive. And sometimes he has blackouts. That's okay, who's his doctor? Doesn't have one. He has blackouts and you've never taken him to the doctor? No, he passed out in school, I think it was last year. And um, they took him to the hospital then and they ran tests, they didn't find anything. Okay, but he blacks out regularly? I guess that depends on what your definition of regularly is. Okay, more than, more than once a year? Yes. Yes, but I didn't allow him to get his driver's license because I knew. And it he could... had no doctor and him any medication? No. Scientist. No. You know, no. we also discovered that he has a rather serious contusion on the back of his head. Do you know how he caught it? No. Okay. You know, that, that, that'll be all. Wait, wait. So, I can take him? No, you cannot. He's under observation. Well, can I at least see him? No. Excuse me, I'm sorry. He, he's my son. Who are you to tell me that I can't see my own son? Your son is 18 legally. He's an adult. And he has quite possibly mentally ill and dangerous. The time for you to take care of this was before this. So you know it could have been some type of negligence on your part. You never got your son to see a doctor who clearly has issues. Can I at least see him? Please. If and when. 